This is the Sawyer Squeeze, and this tiny little water filter has brought me thousands of miles from home. It is one of the most popular filters for backpackers and hikers to filter their water when they're hiking in the backcountry. But what you might not know is that this is doing so much more than just giving you clean water when you're hiking. I figured that the best way to talk about that was to come here to Honduras, where these are in use every single day. Little bitty filter. Really big video. This is my show, gosh darn. So, before we dive into it, we're gonna go on a hike. We are here at the entrance to a hike in La Tigra National Park. It is this massive park in what's called a cloud forest, which as far as I understand, just means that it is super high up and it has a really unique type of vegetation and plants and animals that live here. We are actually joined by our hotel owner's dog, Rufo. This trailhead will lead us to a waterfall and that is a perfect place to filter some water and talk about this little filter, which is the whole reason that we're here. To the waterfall! Sendero Las Golan Golandrinas. Wow, I am very American. Rufo, let's go! Wow, look at how gorgeous this is. Look at the big leaves up there. Come on, bud, let's go check them out. Wow, all of these air plants. All the hipsters in Seattle would lose their sh Rufo just like jetted off the side of the mountain down to get some water. This dog is way more badass than I will ever be. <laughs> okay. 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 I think the waterfall is just right up ahead. Butterfly! Look at the underside of its wings with those colors. This waterfall! Oh, someone's got the zoomies! If you're a hiker or backpacker, you're probably familiar with using water filters in this context. Grabbing water from a stream, adding a filter on top of it, and then pushing the dirty water through the filter to have clean water come out the other side. This is a system that I am super familiar with, but it wasn't until recently that I realized that all that knowledge that I have about hiking and backpacking and water filtration is such a small piece of the puzzle. And this little device is so much more than just something you use to filter when you're out hiking in the park. Here in Honduras and in many places around the world, this tiny water filter is actually a life-saving device. That's the main story of this video, and that's what I want to get into next. So let's back up to two days ago at the Miami airport where I had four duffel bags full of Sawyer water filters. And not nearly enough coffee. <laughs> I definitely had a nightmare last night that I forgot my passport. It's a little hectic this morning. is Andrew. He works for Sawyer and he's the one who invited us to Honduras. We're bringing hundreds of Sawyer water filters to a nonprofit called Water with Blessings. <sighs> Getting all those bags to the airport was a little bit chaotic, but we made it through security and we're at our gate waiting to board our flight. $18 of tofu. The Air Force is a scam. There's been a problem. The water filters that we were bringing in with us were held up at customs. Luckily, we were able to get all the filters through. So now officially, after four hours, we are done at the airport and heading to our hotel. This is Sister Lorraine. Sister Lorraine is our translator and guide this week. 
and she's been coming to Honduras for many years. Do not ever eat any fruit on the street. Yes. The saying goes cut like beautiful flowers, death on a stick. She's the director of Water with Blessings. Oh, and she refers to us as her pollitos, her little chickens. Pollitos. It's a term of endearment. Water with Blessings works to provide immediate access to clean, safe drinking water in 48 countries around the world. They do this by distributing Sawyer water filters to a chosen group of mothers in communities that don't have access to clean water. They call these mothers the water women. According to the World Health Organization, two million people die annually due to unsafe water, sanitation, and hygiene. Sawyer supports over 140 charities in 80 countries, and it all started 15 years ago, right here in Honduras. We're heading up to the mountains now. Yes. <laughs> oh my word. Eco Village, situated high in the mountains above Tegucigalpa in a cloud forest, is our home for the next two nights. Why are we here? Because tomorrow, this will be the site of a very special celebration. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there is this awesome bird up in this tree <laughs> that's making all of these. Rainer described them as whiz bang noises. <laughs> oh my gosh. Breakfast typical. Mm. Thank you. Water with Blessings has provided filters to more than 100,000 women around the world. But their work started right here in Honduras 15 years ago. These water women are given Sawyer water filters in a bucket, trained on how to use them, and then sent home with a system for providing clean water to their families and their community. It's a huge responsibility, and it's one that they take very seriously. So today, hundreds of water women and their families are gathering to celebrate 15 years of clean water. To make this even more special, the original group of water women are going to be here at the party. So Sawyer had these stickers designed. There are all these different designs of stickers, but this one I think is really cool because it says it is celebrating the quinceanera, the 15 year party of the water women of the world. The idea would be to give these stickers to the water women and then they can use them to decorate their buckets. Super cool. The water women will be here soon, so there's not much time to prepare. <laughs> so the first bus of the water women has just arrived. <laughs> I try not to be emotional. This is a procession of the water women. They have this beautiful sign and they all have their buckets with them. Yeah! Thanks to their work as water women, their children have grown up with something that they never had access to clean water. Sister Lorraine just went through and asked of all the water women that are here, who have been here from a year ago, all the way up to 15 years. There are like maybe 10 water women who have been doing this for all 15 years. They have their original buckets that they got. So many women who have been doing this for such a long time. Yeah. 
There are also so many kids here. One of the things that Sister Lorraine said to us before they started doing this work, you would just see all these kids that were obviously dehydrated, clearly not feeling well. It's one of those things where you can't necessarily put your finger on like what's really wrong, but then once they have clean water, she said now it's just so cool to see all these like happy, healthy children. So just a, I think a really awesome testament to how important this work that these women have been doing is impacting so many people and so many kids. She makes these, makes all of them. Una camisita. This is the coffee that is made here on the barn. Best coffee ever! <laughs> could throw a stick and it would land in the coffee farm. Why would you throw a stick? It's an, it's an, I've not heard this before. Oh. The party it was a really incredible way to see that this work is having a super positive impact on the people here in Honduras. It was this huge celebration of how these water women have been empowered to bring clean water into their communities. So we've seen the impact and now we're going to get to see the work behind it. The next several days, we'll be learning about how the water women are trained and how it is that they're able to make these filters last such a long time. After the party finished, we said goodbye to our favorite dog, Rufo, hopped into the back of a pickup truck, rode that pickup truck down into the city, swapped into a van. Hi, dog, come back. And then took that van all the way to the capital city of Tegucigalpa, where we're gonna be spending the next three days. It is this big, sprawling city where Water With Blessings is based and where many of the water women are located. We're also staying at a friary, which is not something I ever expected to do. But then once we arrived here, the friary is actually beautiful. It is so cozy. And they also have guard dogs who run around at night, and it's getting to be about night now. <laughs> we were told specifically, do not put your hand in there. <laughs> turning up into the neighborhood. So this down here is Uyoa. This is a periphetical, so it's like a ring road. So we are in Galpa right now, and we're about to go into one of the homes of one of the water women. We're actually gonna do what's called a GIS survey, which is essentially a health survey where the women report whether or not the filters are in use. And then this information can be layered with maps around general health in an area. This should be a pretty cool opportunity to see how they do these surveys and to get to meet one of the water women. Hola, this is Maria. Hola, Maria. Hola. Okay. This is very much a typical home here. You can see that Maria has decorated the bucket filter with some of the stickers from the party yesterday. That's so cool. Si oso, verdad? Mire, yo filtro el agua. Le pongo esto. She's a tapadera. She yeah. puts a top on it to keep it clean. Do I let all those tears? Sí. She does it every day. Después de eso lo, lo pongo allá en un filtro que tengo el otro allá. It looks like here we have the filter uh -huh. filtering clean water, and then there's actually a dispenser for water in the other room. And so all the clean water can go into this bucket, kind of like we see, almost like an office water cooler. Uh, me gusta, uh, sti what is sticker again? Estiqueta. I recognize them. <laughs> so we're going to do that GIS follow-up. So right now Dennis is pulling up the app and then there's a form that's filled out and that is designed to capture information around the filter's usage. Funcionaba correctamente cuando se entregó el sistema. Sí, funcionando bien. It's functioning well. ¿Cuántas personas viven aquí en su casa? Solamente tres. Tres personas. Three people who live here. 
Have you had anybody in your family who got sick to the point of hospitalization mm -hmm. since you became Desde a que te convertiste en una mujer del agua, ha muerto algún miembro de su familia? No. Okay. Nobody in your family has died. No. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué significa para usted ser una mujer del agua? What's it mean to you to be a water woman? Ahora ya me da miedo tomar agua sin filtrarla. Okay, now I'm afraid to drink any water without filtering it. Porque con esto uno pues uno pasa saludable. You can have a sí. healthy life. <laughs> <laughs> This filter has been in use since 2011, so daily for 12 years. Wow, that's a long time. And Maria here is filtering water for multiple families and up to like eight people right now and has had just, it sounds like no family members be hospitalized for sickness since she started being a water woman. I think my favorite thought was the idea of like just not wanting to drink any water that hasn't been filtered and like that to me is just such a, it's like how we feel as backpackers. We're like, I'm not gonna drink that water in the stream. Like it hasn't been filtered and like recognizing that that is like such a privilege to have that, that response, but also what an incredible thing that Maria gets to do for her family, for her household and also for people around her. So that is the GIS information to ensure that the self-reporting is actually matching up with the health data, which is pretty incredible. Pretty We are currently in Heidi's house right now, and it's actually her birthday. And we're going to see how she filters her water here. Do the same GIS survey, which is that same health information, same like usage information, but definitely a different setup. You can see. So this is one of those filter socks, right? The, uh, helps keep it clean. This is all purified water. Oh, cool. This is basically the same flow rate as a brand new Sawyer squeeze water filter. When you're not squeezing it, you're just allowing gravity to filter the water. And this filter is eight years old. Pretty impressive. And that's because Haiti is cleaning it all the time and ensuring that the filter stays clean, which allows the flow rate of the water to be fast. So Hades using this syringe to push water into the filter through where the clean water comes out, and that then pushes all this kind of like dirt. Oh, you can see the dirt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 We have one more home visit. Miranda. <laughs> <laughs> so Reina here is one of the water women from the original groups and she actually got her filter and then has been using that filtered and clean water to start a tortilla selling business. So she filters water to make the masa, the dough for the tortillas. It's tan populares entonces, ¿verdad? Se vende mucho. Sí, se vende. Popular, popular tortillas. Yeah. It's good. Twelve, twelve years. She's been a water woman for twelve years. Yep. Y gracias a eso, pues entonces no las niñas no han tenido dificultades porque como van con agua filtrada. Everybody's been drinking clean water. Nobody's had any problems. Everybody's got great health. Uh, so pretty cool story, becoming a water woman and then utilizing that to create a small business. Uh, and actually, Reina has four daughters, right? Cuatro hijas, sí. sí? Cuatro <laughs> hijas. All of them have graduated from high school, and one of her daughters is currently in university, universidad, or um, microbiology. 
which is amazing. <laughs> it's basically to go study clean water. <laughs> uh, so yeah, really cool. Gracias, man. Happy birthday. I learned so much on this trip, but I still had one big question for Sister Lorraine. So when we got back to the friary, we sat down to talk. I know Sawyer, obviously, as a backpacking brand. Mm -hmm. my, my entire life revolves around essentially hoping to share my love of the outdoors with other people. And my experience with water filters has been solely around how to choose, basically, which one you want. Mm -hmm. Coming down here to Honduras has given me a different perspective on that, but I'm curious what you would say, what's like the one takeaway that you would want backpackers and people who have that consumer choice to think about, okay. what would that be? Fair warning, I'm gonna go full nun on you. Okay, uh, all right, I am ready, <laughs> I'll brace myself. <laughs> okay, it's gratitude. Every time you take a drink of clean water, that's a privilege. Yeah. That's really a privilege. And it's a privilege that the more mindful we are, the more grateful we are. And then if we're moved to help others, you know, that's beautiful. Yeah. Sawyer is committed to our common humanity. And everything that Sawyer does, some part of that is supporting this work and is supporting the work of other organizations as well. And I feel that, you know, Water with Blessings, we really tap into that same sense of our common humanity. Mm -hmm. and, and I love how that intersects with our, our, just we're instinctively drawn to the outdoors. Mm -hmm. But especially being able to drink water, it's a huge gift. It's really been the basis of public health in our country, mm -hmm. which has been the basis of our development as a country, our mm -hmm. economy, everything has really come down to our achieving widespread public health. And that comes down really that starts with water. Right. I, I, that was full nun, I can handle that, no problem. <laughs> no, no, no issue. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> It's not come to mass and get a filter. <laughs> I mean, forgive me for thinking maybe it was. <laughs> right, because that's true, that idea, like you were saying earlier, like water is a basic human right. Mm -hmm. And we, we, hear, we say that all the time, but it's true that like recognizing the privilege that we have in that and having gratitude for having that, because we've seen, yeah, that's not a case, yeah. you know? It's actually a rarely realized yeah. human right. What affects you affects me. Mm -hmm. We share this planet together. This has been a, a really eye-opening experience for me. Just meeting these amazing women and, and also just seeing the work that's being done here. I'm very sweaty. I got like really, like got the nervous sweats like I do. <laughs> these women are able to make these filters last for upwards of 10 or more years. And that's daily use for their families and other people around their communities, which is far more usage than most backpacking filters in the United States. How are they doing that? We'll get to meet the next group of water women tomorrow and see the entire training process that they go through. Hopefully that'll help me understand how it is that they're able to make these filters last so long and take that same information home with me to make my filter last just as long. The first water women training that we're going to witness is here at the parish center right next to the friary. The first process is going to be selecting the water women. There's already a bunch of women that are in this room. These women are kind of somewhat pre-selected. They go through an application process and then they come on the day of the training and put their names down on pieces of paper and put them into this bucket. Dennis, who's one of the founders of Water with Blessings, walked them through what the requirements were for being a water woman, the process that they'll go through and what they'll have to do if they're chosen, which includes things like filtering water for up to three other families within their community. Normally, a child would have drawn the names. The idea is that in order to avoid any kind of corruption or um, idea of corruption, they have an innocent hand draw the names of the water women. But there aren't any children here, and so Sister Lorraine was like, you could do it. <laughs> It felt like a very important moment to be drawing these names, and I could tell how much this means to these women. Oh. 
Probably around 30 to 40 women showed up and only 15 women were selected. So the water women have been selected and they're in this room currently going through the training. Ida, who's the teacher, has actually been a water woman for 14 years. Has just jumped straight in going through this whole booklet. What they have here is the Sawyer bucket filter system that was specifically designed for countries that need access to clean water. These women bring these Sawyer filter systems into their homes. They filter water for three other homes in their community, and then they can go on to become teachers, and then they teach new water women. They like use fingers to essentially mark the two washers and then the nut that's used to assemble the buckets. Now they're assembling their buckets, which is the whole process that they do with the three rings on the fingers, putting together the tubing, showing how to do the quick connect, and just the whole process of assembling these filtering systems. So they're making filthy water to filter. This is really cool. The women who are teaching took a bucket filter that had been assembled and filled it with water and filtered maybe a gallon of water. So this is the water that we are currently filtering out of the bucket. This is the filtered water, and then this is the dirty water. So, cheers! <laughs> you definitely wouldn't uh, have any trouble doing the Pepsi challenge with these two. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, 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 uh, 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 no. They then showed the process of cleaning and back flushing the filter. So we're just going through this process of, of back flushing into each cup. And as you back flush, you can see that the water starts getting cleaner and cleaner. They are learning how to essentially tap the filters on their palms. It's supposed to help kind of break up some of the dirt and debris that gets stuck in the pores of the filter. And then they'll back flush again. <gasps> what? <laughs> That's amazing. That's just on top of the filter. So after filtering that filthy bucket of water, this is the first round of back flushing that they went over and over again. All these are full syringes. Got to here, and I was like, "That's great. That's clean water." But no. And they tapped the filter against her palm, back flushed again, and then we were basically back to dirty water. You can see the water just gets progressively cleaner and cleaner until we get to the very end. This is how they make these filters last so long. Like. This whole idea that we had of like, what is the secret? Like, how are they doing this? How are, are these women able to make these filters last them so many years? This is how, and not just the back flushing, but the educating each other and teaching each other by showing them the full process and seeing each individual stage. So if you feel like your filter is slowing down and the flow rate is not what it used to be, make sure that you back flush your filter many, many times, then tap it against your palm and then back flush it again. That's the way that you're gonna be able to get from water that looks like this, to water that looks like this. Right now, Water with Blessings is just finishing up the last of the GIS registration. This is the initial like interview that they'll do with the women to find out if they're having any health problems, who's in their household, if they have any history of diarrhea, anything like that. And it's a registration that allows them to register both the new water woman as well as the filter, which has this little barcode on it. And that's what they'll use to essentially track health data and ensure that this filter is being used and that it is working. This is the newest round of water women here in Honduras. just trained this morning, just left to go home. 
These women are just like incredible. It's just like an amazing thing to see these women who now have this super important responsibility to their families and to the homes around them. They are like taking it super seriously. And it's like so clearly this like calling. These 15 women who are going to impact 60 homes. And I just think it's incredible to see like women teaching women and like women helping each other and then knowing that they're going to go home and be such an important part of bringing like health to their families and their community. And they're all the same community, like they all know each other. Like just the work that's being done here and understanding that this thing that I like bought at a store and like scanned and purchased and like threw in my pack and never cleaned is like here in this community. The Sawyer Squeeze water filter is not just some like fun toy that I have in my backpack so my water tastes good. Like this is about saving lives. I don't know, I just have a lot of feelings. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is our last day here in Honduras, and this is our second water women training. The city of Tegucigalpa is down in this volcanic bowl, and as you get further and further away from that city center, you get higher up, and the neighborhoods there have fewer resources. So we're going to head up to a neighborhood that's about half an hour away from here, and a little higher out of the volcanic bowl. Last day! <laughs> We just finished the last water women training on the last day of our trip here in Honduras. I am actually really sad to leave. Um, my Spanish is still absolutely terrible. And I realized that today when I was trying to talk to a seven year old and she didn't understand anything I was saying. She's like, I don't know if I like you. <laughs> Now we have seen two days worth of trainings, seen two rounds of water women taught, and now I get to take all this information with me back to the United States. Passport, vaccination. Do it, y'all. All right, you're headed to the airport. That's great. Until next time. Thank you yep. very much. Yeah. I'm sure Hopefully, we'll see. overlap. Absolutely. Here again. <laughs> Adios, Dennis. <laughs> yeah. We left the friary, so now we're headed to the airport to go back to the States. I'm actually feeling really sad about leaving. This has been such an amazing trip. How's everybody else feeling? Everybody else excited? I'm also sad. I'm sad. Yeah, I'm sad. I'm sad that you're leaving. Have we been your favorite? Pacific Northwest and it is backpacking season here. It's actually been a few months since I returned from Honduras. Man, I had learned so much more from the water women than I had ever learned from any backpacker, ever. 
about water filtration. For the longest time, I viewed water filters as like things that I get to choose and buy and basically use as toys. But now I'm viewing this as a life-saving device. I think this has given me a better understanding of just the huge amount of privilege that I have to be able to come out to places like this and have access to water and know that I'll have a way to take natural water sources and turn them into healthy, clean, safe water for me to drink. If there's anything that I have learned from the water women that I hope you learn as well, it's just the importance of caring for and maintaining your water filters, whichever one you choose. When I was talking to Andrew and the team at Sawyer, they were pretty adamant about the idea that they don't want to have to sell me another water filter. There's this concept of like, yeah, buy once, don't buy it again. If I properly care for and maintain this filter the water woman way, there really is no reason I'll ever need to buy another one. So one more time, so that we all know how to do it, let's clean this water filter the water woman way. The water woman way, the way of the water women. I miss them. Backpackers, remember to bring this thing on your backpacking trips. And remember, most important thing to do, back flush with clean water, tap the filter, back flush again. And that is how you make this filter last you as long as possible. Boom. If you liked this video, it is all thanks to the Sawyer Foundation, Water With Blessings, and most importantly, the water women in Honduras. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. And I'll put some links in the description below so you can check out the other water initiatives that the Sawyer Foundation is doing. Okay, make sure you back flush your filters and I will see you all outside. Bye.